welcome to my youtube tutorial today we'll be talking on how to make the eyes pop and go from this to this within seconds so without wasting much of your time let's jump right into it <laughs> So the first thing I'll do is come to my adjustment layer here, so click on the black and white, then turn on my tint, check on my tint, then I'll select a color, a bluish color, just to make sure the white is, the eyes is more white, that is the eye, what do they call this thing, the eyeballs, yeah make the eyeballs white so i'll select this no no i think i'll go much further okay yes this is nice yeah this then i would invert to invert i'll do the control i to invert then i'll select my brush make sure my flow is 100 my opacity 100 then i'll my foreground color is white and i'll paint in to review what I've done. And yeah, so this is the before, this is the after. Before, after. So the next thing I'll do is come to my adjustment layer again click on curves I'll raise it up a little bit from the middle then go into the reds I'll raise that up a little too go into the green I'll raise it up a little too just to make the high risk pop and yeah I guess I'll just bring it up a little bit to make it much more Let's do up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Then control height to invert again. Then I'll pick my brush, set my flow to around. Let's go 15. So 20 ish. Around 20. Yeah. Then I'll carefully paint into the eyes. To make that side much more lighter and much puffier. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. You don't overdo this step because it will ruin your picture. So, before, now, before, now. Can you see the huge difference? Yeah, just a little on this side. A little on this side too yeah so before now so i'll just change this so uh, his little eyes yeah. so now i'll go into my u and saturation adjustment layer now then i'll press alt you click on alt then select to clip that on either eyes so i can change the colors as you can see as i'm moving the slider the colors are changing they have fixed the page i've painted yeah like that i think this is good for me yeah i like this yeah so it's good for me so i'll keep it like that so next thing i'll do is go to my curves again yeah now raise it up a little bit yeah yeah and i will change come to my blending mode and change it to screen yeah then i'll revert this change it to dodge yeah dodge. 
and I'll take my brush. <coughs> Sorry about that. Take my brush, then reduce the flow to around five is okay, yeah. And I'll carefully print in on the light side. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Just to make the eyes much more lighter and brighter, yeah. Whiter and brighter. <laughs> Windows then command it to on Mac. So I'll start burning the dark areas. Maybe from this eyelashes. Yeah. Oh sorry about this. Yeah. So start from this eyelashes up. Select all and put them in a group. So one last thing before I go is I'll create a new layer and change the blend mode to color. Yeah, I'll pick my brush. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll pick my brush. Press Alt to sample color area, and I'll just drag this up a little bit. Make the colors more popular. Note my flow is still on fire, so I think we start painting. Start painting. My area is four after four. This is the before, after, before, after. Just been in my this length. And you can see this through and pop. Yeah. Before, after, before, after. Okay, one last thing before I go. To make the eyes more whiter, I'll come to my adjustment layer, click on photo filter. Come here and choose the cooling filter 82. Oh, sorry, cooling filter 82. Yeah, dry. Okay, right. Make sure my flow is at 100 now. Reduce my brush, then I paint it on the eyeballs only. Make it much more whiter. Yes, like this. 
Give me speed and DIs. Yeah. So, no, I'm going to get rid of them. We do have nail pass. So, will there be? No. That's it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And if you feel this has helped you in a way, please subscribe and like and share. So till next time. Take care.